Hi everyone, we're here with your NRCO meeting update. We're standing in the cafeteria, and in case you haven't heard why, it's because we're celebrating that we finally have reusable metal silverware. No more plastic. We have a huge thank you to Adrian Driscoll and the green team as well because she is the one that saw the need and went for it. Absolutely. All right, so we're really here to talk about what happened at the last NRCO meeting, and I'm just willing to put it out there. I missed the last one as well, uh, even though I'm supposed to be there, but uh, my work schedule didn't allow for me to be there. So, Jennifer, what happened? Well, we have a big thank you to Mr. Scribner this month. He's uh, one of our fifth grade teachers, and he reached out to me mm -hmm. with an article that he had read, kind of highlighting some of the issues that kids are having as far as coming to school regulated, ready to learn, ready to be focused, and um, it was something that really spoke to him. So he asked to come to the meeting and, and kick us off with a conversation that lasted almost an hour. It was wow. a great conversation about what we as parents can do to connect with our children after school, help mm -hmm. them feel supported, um, good food, good sleep, ready to learn, and all of that. So it was a really awesome. great, great conversation that, that kicked off Thanks, Mr. Scribner. Yeah. So if you see Mr. Scribner, thank him for coming. Um, and if you want more information about what he talked about, you can reach out to us and we can get that for you. And I'll, uh, I'll include the links to the article that he shared and one I found in the uh, comments down below so that people can look into that if they want. Perfect. So based on that conversation, um, are there some things that are happening here at the school coming up that might encourage, encourage <laughs> kids to be involved in their community and finding ways yeah. to... Um, Absolutely. So the big thing we have going on this year, it's new to our school, is mm -hmm. the Crocs in Action or the CIA. Yeah. I've talked about it before, but <laughs> we'll talk about it again real quick. Um, it's something that a few of us d wanted to start just to help our kids get more involved in the community and um, check off some of the things that we talked about with Mr. Mm -hmm. Scribner about community involvement, parent involvement, um, you know, a chance to do good things with friends and families. Um, this month, uh, last week, we met here at the school grounds and we did some school ground cleanup. We collected several bags of garbage. Uh, I think band-aids were our number one <laughs> uh, collection item, so that was fun. Uh, lots of little bits of wrappers from candies and snacks, mm. lots of water bottles. The biggest thing we found was a chair. A so, chair. A chair. If you're missing a chair. <laughs> if you're missing a very broken uh, chair from a baseball game, we uh, threw it in the dumpster for you. <laughs> so um, we did a great job cleaning up. Thank you to the families that participated yes. in that. And do we have another one coming up, right? We do have another one coming up. So our December CIA focus is going to be around Nancy Ryle's Season of Giving. Okay. So, so Season of Giving, for those of you that don't know, is a, obviously a time of the year that we are working together as a school to collect items for a certain organization. And this year we are working with the Beaverton Help Center, which is right here, part of our, the Beaverton School District, and it's helping families and students who are affected by homelessness. So we are collecting gift cards and what are the like actual like physical items that we're collecting? Yeah, so right now they're short on food. So we're looking to collect lots of snacks, you know, food that can be on shelves that they can get out to families. Um, they'd love to have gift cards to places mm -hmm. like Fred Meyers, Target, places where families can get food, gas, clothes. Um, and also we'll be taking cash and check donations that then we can go use um, to buy some more gift cards for the families too. Yeah. So um, kind of a segue to that is if you have never heard about Season of Giving or you didn't know about any of the things that Jennifer and I were just talking about, um, we really encourage you to read that Friday Crock Talk that comes home. Um, it's got a lot of information in it and a lot of it's important stuff that your kids are probably hearing about at school and then are going to want to talk to you about so it'll help you understand what they're learning but what is now another way that they can um, get well, information we're finding that families aren't necessarily always reading the crock talk and are missing some important dates and some important information so we're going to start sending home a monthly flyer with kind of a rundown of upcoming events like dining for dollars cia events um, some gentle reminders of stuff coming up that we need volunteer support for Great, so check your kid's backpack as well. Um, but if you're not receiving the, the Croc Talk, um, you can reach out to your student's teacher and they can make sure that you're getting that information um, or let us know here at the NRCO. But we wanna make sure everybody knows what's happening so that as a school, um, when we have things like um, Season of Giving, we can have as many of you participating as possible so that, because you'll know about what's happening. So um, the last thing is um, our next NRCO meeting is on 
December 3rd, 3rd at 2 p.m. So, you know, working parents, um, parents who are, you know, at home with little ones that aren't school age yet, um, we understand all those schedules and that's why we change the time. We have a 9 a.m., a 2 p.m., and a 6 p.m. that rotate throughout the year so that hopefully that means that you can come to even just a handful of meetings every year. Um, so that you can know what's happening here. But I'm gonna be there, I'm really excited to not have to miss it and actually know what we're talking about on this next video <laughs> that we make. Yep. Um, I think that's it. Is there anything else, Jennifer, that you wanna to add to that? As always, if you have any input on how we can keep you informed better, what we can do better to serve our school and our co one at hotmail.com. Awesome, all right, happy Friday, everybody. Have a great weekend. Thanks, everyone.